Hi, it's me again. In this video, I will share with you how to use the public transportation in Stockholm, run by SL, Aktiebolaget Storstockholms Lokaltrafik, or uh, Stockholm Public Transport, as it's called in English. First of all, let's see what's included in SL. Where can you travel? And what modes of transportation do they provide? Nästa, T-centralen. When traveling with SL, you can take the bus, metro, commuter train, tram, and even a couple of commuter ferries. You can use the same tickets, no matter what mode you choose. And during the ticket's validity, you can switch between the different transportations with no extra cost. The only destinations that require an additional ticket are Uppsala and Arlanda on the commuter train line. More information about these destinations can be found on SL's website, sl.se. But how do you buy a ticket? Nästa, there are many ways to buy a ticket, so you can choose the one that suits you the best. If you don't have an SL Access card that looks like this, you can buy one together with your ticket in the manned booths at the metro and commuter train stations, or at any convenience store with the SL flag, as well as the SL Customer Service Center at Stockholm Central Station. The plastic SL card isn't always necessary though. If you're only planning to make a few trips, you can buy single fare tickets for those trips. The single fare tickets are valid for 75 minutes from first use. You can buy them in the places mentioned before, or as a receipt from the self-service ticketing machines found at the metro and commuter train stations. There's also an app called SL Reseplanere och Biljetter, SL Journey Planner and Tickets, where you can buy tickets that will be represented as a QR code on your phone. The app has a really poor rating in both the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store though, and I've never personally used it. So let's see what other options there are. Nästa. If you already have a plastic SL Access card, you can buy the full range of tickets that SL offers. They have tickets valid for 24 or 72 hours, or 7, 30, 90, and 365 days. If you're under 20 or over 65 years old, you can get a discounted price. The same price is also available if you're a student and your student card shows the SL logo. The period tickets are always the cheapest option if you travel a lot during the given period. If you're only planning to travel sporadically, the SL Access Credit, Rias Casa, is the option for you. You load up your SL Access card with the desired amount, and the price of one fare will be deducted every time you use your Access card. Just like the single fare tickets, you can continue using your ticket and make transfers within 75 minutes without any extra cost. Let me show you how to use the self-service ticket machine to add credits to your access card. We'll use the English option to be inclusive here. So, you whip out your SL access card and touch it against the blue reader on the machine. Option one is if you want a period ticket, but I don't travel often enough for that. So let's go with option two, SL access credit top up. You choose how much you want to add or type in any other amount. After pressing confirm, you pay with one of the approved credit or debit cards. And then you must not forget the most important step. You have to touch your access card to the reader again to complete the process. Okay, now that you have your ticket, we'll take a look at how to get on your selected mode of transportation without getting a fine. Because if you don't activate your ticket in the right way, you could get a fine of 1,500 Swedish crowns. You don't want that. Nästa, Solna Centrum. No matter what kind of ticket you have and what transportation you choose to take, you are responsible to activate your tickets. First of all, we have the single fare receipt tickets bought in the self-service ticket machines. This ticket is activated upon purchase and you just need to show it to an SL employee at the metro or commuter train barriers in order to enter the station. On the bus, you show it to the driver. And on the tram, you just keep it handy in case someone comes to check your ticket. 
tickets on SL access cards, you need to activate on the blue area of the barrier for metro and commuter trains. On the bus, the reader is also blue. For the tram and ferry, it's common that there are no barriers to pass, so you'll have to find a ticket reader pole on the platform. There might also be SL employees on the platform that can activate the ticket for you. If neither exists, you are still allowed to enter, but only if you have enough credit or a valid ticket, albeit not activated. Mobile tickets bought through the app mentioned earlier need to be scanned in the little window with a green border on the bus or at the metro or commuter train station barriers. Similar to the SL Access card, if there are no scanners available, it is okay to enter the tram or ferry as long as you have the ticket available on your phone. Just make sure you have enough battery. What if you don't have any tickets and you just need to travel right now? Don't be the douchebag that follows someone else as they pass the barriers. It is now possible to use your credit or debit card as the tickets. When you do this, tap it against the same green bordered window as the phone ticket scanner. And a full price single fare ticket will be activated. Just like any other single fare ticket, it's valid for 75 minutes, you can transfer as much as you like within that time, and no more money will be deducted from your card. Perfect! Now you have everything you need to start your trip. But how do you find your route from point A to point B? Nästa. Tekniska högskolan. The departure and arrival times of SL's trains and buses are available to app developers. So there are many apps to choose between. The ones my wife and I use are Resi Stockholm, SL Trip Planner, and Stockholm Traveling, SL Planner. But there are higher rated ones for both Android and iOS, like Stockholm Commute, SL Journey Planner, and also lower rated ones like the one by SL themselves. All of these can show you the best routes depending on your criteria, and also show upcoming departures from any given stop. Map apps like uh, Google or Apple Maps can also give you recommendations, but uh, they're not always as accurate if there are any delays on your routes. Speaking of delays, since not even the metro is fully under the ground, the risk of delays is quite high if there's snow or leaves on the tracks, but also if it's too hot or too cold, too moist, too dry. In these cases, you could be eligible for a full or partial refund or even get compensated if you take your own car or a taxi instead. Conditions apply, so check the website sl.se if you're ever delayed or risk being delayed for over 20 minutes. If you're ever lost or have trouble reading the signs, or if the announcements on the train are in Swedish, just ask someone, literally anyone, and they will help you. It's a Swedish thing. There you have it, the ultimate guide to traveling in Stockholm. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you want this video to reach more people who are planning to travel in Stockholm. We'll see you next week. Bye!